Hi, welcome to Business Automated. Today I will show you how to quickly send Gmail emails out of your Airtable with a single press of a button. Let's get started. First, let me explain you the setup of Airtable base for this, this project. The first column is the name of the person. The second column is a first name that I'm actually extracting using Airtable formula. The formula is following. So first it finds the location of a space bar, which is in between those two names. So you can see that this is find space within the name. And this formula would return the location of a space bar within this name. The second stage in this formula, we do a formula called left. And formula left extracts a number of characters from the beginning of the string. So first we need to set the string. And then the location of a space bar minus one. And this is how we get the first name, which we'll use in the salutation of the email. The next column is column called email. Uh, and what I'm having here, it's a link to a template. So in the table template, I have created a couple of templates for emails that I would like to send out. And you can see that this is the subject of the template, what would be the subject of this email. And another column is a column that contains the body of the email. Here I'm using the long text with enable reach formatting enabled. This way, inside of this block, I am able to use rich formatting, such as, such as bold, or even adding links. This way, you can format your email already here, and you can see this straight away in a proper formatting inside of Airtable. So it's a simple template contain, containing the subject and the body of the email. The body of the email does not contain the salutation here because we will be adding that salutation inside of uh, Integromat. Coming back to the main table. So with this button, we basically decide what template we want to use to, we want to send to this particular customer. So for example, here we want to send out a template which is called let's schedule an update. Here, those columns are just giving us a simple lookup of the content from the template so we know what's inside so that you can see what's, uh, what's there. Then, the next step is the email button. I'll come back to it. And then finally, you have the status field. Status field is a single select that contains only sent. This will be a feedback from Integromat so that we can visually see that this email has been sent. Right. Now let's get into the setup of the button. So let's try to create this one from the, from the scratch. What we'll do over here, we'll select new button, select the formatting for the color of the button. The action will be URL. And now what URL do we want to open? Now, this is the place where we'll, you will need a webhook from Integromat. So, uh, if you have not used Integromat, you can read about this more in the description of the video. If you have used Integromat, you should be more familiar with how to start setting up the scenario. We'll start with a new scenario completely from the scratch, and the first module will be webhook. It will be custom webhook. And let's add a new webhook. You can just type the name so it's easy for you to identify. This will give us a URL of a webhook, which we need to copy. Now we need to paste the URL of the webhook here. Remember about the brackets on both sides. At the end of the URL, we need to add a question mark, and then we need to type record ID equals, and then we're going to attach the ID of the current record. I'm going to use ampersand and formula record ID. What this will do will make us open this URL together with the record ID. 
and you can see inside of Integromat that we have successfully retrieved the data. So let's open now, let's run this scenario in Integromat and let's click that button again. Now you can see that inside of Integromat we have received that record ID from that particular entry. Now let's use this record ID to find more information about that particular record. Select correct connection to Airtable and your Airtable base. And in the first table, table one, we're gonna be looking for the record ID coming from the webhook. And now we are going to add a second get Airtable record that will look up the content of the template. Templates. And we're gonna use the ID that will come here from email to send and this first entry in that linked field with the ID of the template. Now let's run this scenario and let's see what are we getting. This should be let's schedule and this should be this record here. All right, so we have received details of the let's schedule template. And the details of the person that we want to send this email to. Okay, so the next step is to set up a Gmail connection to send out this email. We're going to select the recipient. This is going to be the email of the person we want to send it to. Subject line will come from the second Airtable module. Subject. For the content, we will start with uh, salutation and we'll use the name of the first name of the person that we are sending this to. Now, because Gmail accepts in the content of the body only the HTML, this means we need to actually have this text written in HTML. So we need to make a paragraph out of this and to have the email body content display as a paragraph as well, we need to do one more trick. So let's close it for now, let's say okay. And let's use a module called Markdown. Airtable long text is actually using Markdown and we'll convert the Markdown to HTML. So we'll add this module here in between. And let's say email body and this will give us HTML content at the end, which will attach here at the bottom, which will be the full content of our email. As advanced settings, we can, for example, insert from. Let's click OK. And the final field will be our feedback field to make sure that everything went OK and there was no errors in the scenario. Let's update the initial table. And let's type sent. You can click smart links in case you have not prefilled that field here so that it doesn't cause an error. So this will auto generate sent links now. As a record ID, we have to use the record ID of the initial record that was retrieved from Airtable, which will be this one. All right, let's test it. Scenario went through smoothly. We have a send now here. And the new email has showed up as planned with the correct formatting as we wanted. Now, the final step is to save the scenario and schedule it so it runs immediately every time you press the button. So now you can start selecting the topics and clicking the buttons to send them. I hope this video was useful for you guys and please subscribe to the channel for more interesting business automation ideas.